worst disaster in NASA's history unfolded live on television, and what America saw next burned itself into history forever. It was January 28, 1986, a bitterly cold morning at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Families gathered, children watched from classrooms. The Challenger shuttle was about to make history. On board were seven astronauts, scientists, pilots, engineers, and a school teacher. Krista McAuliffe, the first civilian teacher ever sent to space. She promised to teach lessons from orbit. Millions tuned in to watch. The countdown began. Ten, nine, eight, and then liftoff. A perfect launch. Cheers erupted. Smiles everywhere. But 73 seconds later, the sky changed. A flash, a bloom of fire, two smoke trails split like broken wings. The Challenger was gone. Confusion spread first, then horror. Families stood frozen, children stared at the screen, even the news anchors were silent. NASA's pride shattered. The shuttle had disintegrated in midair. All seven crew members perished instantly. No chance, no warning, no survivors. Investigators found a cause. A single rubber O-ring, hardened by the cold, failed. A piece no bigger than your hand brought down a machine built to touch the stars. The tragedy could have been avoided. Engineers had warned about the cold, but the launch went on. Deadlines over doubts, hope over hesitation. The Challenger didn't just break apart in the sky, it broke America's heart. This was no ordinary accident, it was a national trauma, broadcast in real time, not in war, not in battle, but in pursuit of discovery. This was the Challenger disaster.